we're going to show you how to plant some fall cabbages in a pot. This is about a 20 gallon pot that we've had just kind of laying around and we thought we would uh, spruce it up a bit. This soil has been pretty exhausted. We dumped half of it out, but I didn't really want to have to dump all of it out and use a whole bunch of potting soil, especially for a fall planting. But we are going to have to amend this a little bit. So we're going to use down to earth biofish. It's really good for cold crops, especially for fall planting. So I'm going to put about a cup in this and mix it around. You don't have to really go crazy with this because we're going to pour some potting soil over the top. But we just want to give it some nutrients, which I'm sure there's nothing left in this at all. Okay, top it out with some potting soil. Put about another cup of this fertilizer in and mix it in just as much. It's really great to be planting in the fall cabbages here uh, in the desert. It's really warm during the summer, so we can't do cabbages here then. So even right now, here we are at the end of August, we want to put these cabbages with afternoon shade. We're still 105 here. So we're just going to grab our cabbages. For this size, I think three will fit just fine. Space them out evenly. I got a red and two greens. I thought it might be fun for color. Make it look fun for fall. Okay, so right now it looks pretty sparse. And me being me, I've got to add more stuff to it. So in the center, I'm going to add some kale. It'll give it some height. And the cabbages will kind of go over the sides. So I don't have to worry about them taking up too much space. They'll grow tall. The cabbage will stay fairly small. We can put some companion plants in there as well to help deter the cabbage looper. It's a moth that will come in and lay eggs on your brassica crop. So by putting sage and parsley, that really helps deter the bugs. This is all pretty and everything, and it looks good, but me being me, i got to have a little bit of color. So I've got these little ornamental pepper plants. They're not cold tolerant, but for now, we've got a couple of months that'll be pretty in here. And by the time that the cabbages and the kale and the other little plants in here are big enough, this thing will have frozen and it'll allow space for the rest of the plants, which is really kind of what you want is to give them some space. But I like color too. So one of the things that I wanted to mention too is the down to earth um, biofish does have fish products in it. Um, so as you notice, our dog Luna, she was kind of sniffing her nose in here. So you want to watch your pets and make sure that they're not rooting around and trying to eat it. Usually this dissipates after a couple of days of watering, but still, just keep it out of the pet's way. Well, before too long, you'll be able to make some fermented cabbage, some kimchi, or some other delicious foods with your homegrown cabbages. Subscribe to us, give us a thumbs up, and happy gardening.